hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am doing my july plan with me which is cutting it a little bit short i should have done it a little bit earlier but i felt like it was necessary to do it in june 30th because it is the last saturday of the month of june and i want to get back on schedule so here we are my theme this month is a peacock feather you could say more like a peacock and you can see me creating it right now this was actually really simple I thought it was gonna be a, a lot harder than it actually was but I decided to not be so perfect at it I wanted it to look messy so I did have a reference photo which I will link down below in my description box but other than that it was just basically getting the shape of it down because this is such a zoomed in way of looking at a feather um, and I did incorporate several colors it wasn't just one green I did a dark green a lime green a turquoise green and I also did several types of blue so I could get that ombre look but I hope you guys like this idea I actually was watching fixer upper if you're from the US you know that there is those home improvement that show how you know they fix up old houses and just renovate them and make them amazing and I saw one that had this very large peacock drawing and I just was like that is a great idea it's not the same like I've seen everybody do kind of different things for July and July is kind of a hard month I mean if you're in the US you could probably make it very um independent wise very themed that way but I didn't want to I wanted something different where I didn't really correlate with all the seasons or all the things that are happening um, based on you know what we're celebrating that month I wanted it to be universal so I did this little peacock in um, I don't know where this is from I actually don't know a lot about peacocks but I just really wanted to do it because the photo in that home improvement channel looks so good <laughs> so I thought that this would be a really good way to just put it all in here and I hadn't ever I've drawn feathers but I've never drawn this type of feather the only thing that was tricky to do was the t the tip of it you know you just have to watch out where you place your colors but other than that you can kind of just messily do it you can't really it's not that you can't really tell it's just that trying to make the color stay on the black line is going to be a lot harder so I would just say use black as give to give it an accent color instead of it being overall perfect it's better to just make it messily it just looks so much better um, this is my month at a glance and I actually love how I did this I didn't I normally center it and I put two things on each side but this time I turned it to the right the, basically this page hasn't really changed for me I very much love how I have my whole month and then I always do a design on the side it just makes it a lot better for myself but again you can always change it as you want I did decide to put blue inside where the numbers went this one was a little harsh because you can't really see the numbers so if you are going to add blue then be sure to add a little bit of a lighter blue I just didn't want to use a lighter blue because I didn't want to risk having it not match with my feathers so you don't have to do that I just wanted to balance out the green because I felt like it was so much green and I was like okay maybe I need a little bit of blue so uh, add a couple of blues in there or don't add a blue just add the numbers and just make the green pop out a lot more I love that the peacock has the dark blue and that beautiful green it just it just gives it such a beautiful contrast to one another and that is the reason why I picked it because they're two vibrant colors and I just thought <laughs> they're amazing um, I did write my week out but it, as you can see I started off on Monday and I had to use my uni ball pen to go over it to make sure that I started with Sunday and not Monday because I'm so used to starting with my weeks with Monday so be sure to not do that mistake and if you do mess up it's always okay to go back and you know fix your mistake so yep that's my month at a glance next is my mood and budget tracker and this is the one that I was most excited about because the mood tracker was actually going to be the actual peacock I didn't want to put peacocks everywhere I wanted the feathers to be my theme but of course a peacock feather comes from a peacock so I had to have one in here and I actually um, just kind of went to the internet and I saw some pictures of them and I tried my best to fit them as well as I could now each feather you know that has the accent of the orange and the blue is going to be my mood tracker for each month so if I don't fill it in 
that means that I didn't have a good day because I I have noticed that with my past mood trackers I always have either good or bad days so I think just having that transition from good or bad because sometimes I do have fine days but they overly do either go into the bad or the good so I did want to do that with this little peacock and I love how it turned out I really do um, now I'm just coloring it in which does take me a bit to do because I wanted it to be actually genuine to how a peacock actually looks. I tried to do a couple of ombre things on this peacock, especially the top since the blue is very impactful and then the bottom is all going to be green. Now I didn't finish all of it of course because at the end of the month then of course I'm going to have it all full and um, all colored in. So I hope I have a good month. I don't want to leave it blank. So I'm going to try my best to be very positive this month and just because I want to see this completed colored in peacock but I did several colors on the tail just so that you could see that now on my budget tracker I'm sorry that it just randomly showed you this new feather that's very long but um, I actually didn't record that part so that is my fault but it's the same way as I did the other ones I just added that budget word with the elongated cursive and that was it I mean it wasn't anything fancy I l normally like a lot of space where I have my budget because I do write a lot of things on it and I know that July is actually going to be a lot of spending and a lot of doing so I know that I'm going to want to have a lot of space. Now this is my brain dump and I was kind of getting tired of doing the swirly parts of a uh, feather so I decided to go straight down and use them more of an accent you know, on the left hand side and I left all of the rest of it alone so that I can have my brain dump. Like I said, this month is going to be busy, which means that the more I think, the more I write down. And I wanted to make sure that every word that was uh, written in bold and then the cursive was written inside it was actually the same color. So I kind of kept that green going throughout the whole thing. Again, you can change it up if you want to, but I just wanted to keep that consistency. I went with a very dark green and then a very lime green and then I used a medium turquoise dash green. Um, Crayola has a lot of them and normally the ones that I use are the 100 count so be sure to always get those. They're actually not very expensive. They're at least 15 to 18 dollars. Um, it just depends on where you get them so I would suggest getting them somewhere where they're a lot cheaper and finding out where you can get them and they give you a lot more variety when it comes to color. So yep I just kind of kept the same pattern went with the blue and the yellowish orange and when I did use this yellow orange in the middle I tried to get a little bit of the blue so that it would blend a little bit and if you're worried about the tip getting dirty then you can always clean it off later. This is my weekly planner and I only did one week for you guys because I am planning to do two weeks on not this week but the next week after and I wanted to just add one and then if you guys go follow me on Stacia Sketches it will be linked down below as well as at the end of this video you guys can go and see what week two will be so I did the twisted very zoomed in feathers that you guys can see a lot more and I did very minimalistic again I wanted it to be very clean but at the same time I wanted the accent of the actual peacock feather and how it just bursted through each page but yep, that's the end of it. I'm just going to finish up coloring it. I am going to list all of the pens that I used down below if you want to check it out. And I hope you guys like this theme as much as I do. And I hope you recreate it. Be sure to tag me if you do. This is my final flip through. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Remember, I'm posting every single Saturday. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.